guys, welcome back to the Birds Party channel. Well, Easter's around the corner, so today I'm going to share with you a super pretty Easter tablescape. This tablescape is inspired by pastel colours and spring colours like pinks, yellows, greens and blues as you can see behind me. And as always, for all the tablescapes that I style at home, I always like to add a little touch of fun, a little whimsical touch to entertain my children and to make the table really magical for them. So I hope you like the ideas and I hope you feel inspired for your own Easter celebrations and Easter brunch at home with friends and family. And the first thing I did was to create this beautiful honeycomb garland to display behind my table which is perfect to decorate a blank wall or also used as a photo booth uh, backdrop. And to make this garland it's super easy, I just use different sized honeycomb paper balls and I just use string to make the garland, just string them along. Uh, there's no pattern and then to finish off the decoration with another dimension I created these uh, scalloped paper banners and I use cardstock of different colors and a scalloped paper punch to create circles on my cardstock then you just fold them in half obviously I use cardstock to match my color scheme of pastel pink green blue and yellow but you can choose whatever colors uh, suit your party so basically you fold the circles in half and then use double-sided sticky tape or uh, just normal uh, glue to glue the little circles to uh, baker's twine or string i use baker's twine to match the color of each banner but you don't have to use that you can use whatever you've got at home or even fishing line which is transparent and once you make your garland as long as or short as you want you're simply just going to drape it over the honeycomb uh, garland uh, to add another dimension and another texture on top of that i think it looks so pretty and adds the wow factor without much effort next up i made these diy placemats simply by cutting um, a length of a uh, table runner which i found at my local dollar store in my chosen color schemes of blue pink green and yellow you can cut whatever size suits you and uh, suits your table as well and on top of that i just use simple white plates everyday white plates which i love which um, kind of add a little neutral touch to each place setting and i use coordinating uh, napkins to match each place setting and some beautiful uh, golden flatware to top it all off i used my cute bunny egg cups in pink green yellow and blue again matching each place setting they look so adorable holding hard-boiled eggs to finish things off, I added the glassware and to the juice or water cup, I added these DIY bunny uh, straws which are so adorable and add a little fun touch to the table. And to make these bunny straws, it's really simple. You just take some printable bunny stickers that come in our printable Easter kit from birdsparty.com and again I'll leave a direct link in the description box for you and you cut them out and then decorate each straw with a matching a colored piece of ribbon and this is great to use ribbon scraps that you have at home and just add a little kind of flaggy detail a ribbon detail and then I just stick each bunny on top of the ribbon with some 3d foam stickers to add a little uh, 3d effect I think they look super cute super adorable and are very easy to make you can even get the kids involved uh, crafting um, for the occasion so there you have it I made them in all the colors of my tablescape in pastel pink yellow blue and green these cute Easter straws are so easy to make like I said and they're perfect for decorating uh, all the glassware or tableware that you have for Easter brunch obviously my children are a bit older so I use real glass but obviously if you have younger kids around just swap for acrylic or plastic I then added some colored chocolate eggs to each place setting to match the color scheme on each place setting inside some uh, baking cups and then I like to send my guests home with a little gift and to embellish my super cute gift bags all I did is to print some uh, gift bows and gift tags again from birdsparty.com and I'll leave the link in the description box for you and all I did was print and cut them out in my chosen color scheme of green, pink, yellow and blue and I just stuck to the front of each gift bag with a 3D foam stickers. And it's super easy, super simple, and makes your gift or party favor look that extra special. And um, your guests will love it, I'm sure. I 
I love how these uh, favorite boxes or gift bags turned out and again I use them uh, to match each place setting so for the yellow place setting I use the yellow um, favor bags, the yellow straws, the yellow eggs and the yellow baking cups and so on for the blue, the green and the pink place setting. One of my favorite elements of this Easter tablescape is this super gorgeous uh, floral centerpiece. I used two white troughs uh, with floral foam inside and I used a mixture of faux flowers um, and also real flowers which is also a great tip if you're on a budget so it's a real budget friendly uh, centerpiece that won't break the bank. And apart from adding the faux grass and faux flowers I used some real ranunculus but because the stems are super soft you have to use pieces of floral wire and the ranunculus uh, stems are actually hollow so you can e easily insert the floral wire inside and just trim to size and it makes the stem really sturdy and you can actually bend them a little bit once inside the floral foam as well so it's super easy and it's a super great tip that I learned from a florist friend of mine and if you have a stem that it's a little bit wonky that's not quite straight you can still use the same technique but just be sure that you insert it really carefully uh, so you don't pierce the stem otherwise you've lost the stem because you'll get all bendy and you won't be able to put the wire in any longer uh, so you carefully insert the floral wire inside leaving a little bit like about an inch or half an inch at the end which makes it super easy to insert into the wet floral foam And again, I chose uh, the flowers or the blooms uh, to match my chosen color scheme and to complement my party colors, but you feel free to use whatever colors suit your table. And the last decorative element to my table are these votive candle holders, uh, glass candle holders. And I was so lucky to find them at my local dollar store and my chosen color scheme of green, blue, a yellow and pink and they are kind of goldeny on the inside so they are this beautiful uh, gold shimmer when you light the candles and I love how they look dispersed around the table And that completes the decor of my pastel colored Easter table. I think everything turned out super cute and I'm so glad my vision for this pastel uh, table came together so beautifully and so easily. As you can see, it wasn't difficult at all. And I think it's really whimsical and really fun uh, if you're having family and friends for Easter brunch. But of course, you can uh, repurpose some of the ideas and use some of the uh, decorations for other spring parties and celebrations you may be hosting this season, like a bridal shower, baby shower, or a spring luncheon with your girlfriends. I think some of the ideas can certainly be used for any spring celebration. And there you have it, my pastel colored Easter tablescape, which I totally am in love with. I hope you've enjoyed the ideas as well and that you feel inspired by some of the decoration ideas to recreate them at home or to repurpose uh, some of the ideas for your own Easter brunch, breakfast, lunch, or whatever spring celebration you may be hosting at home. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Give it a like because it helps our channel. Thank you so much for being here each time we post something and if you want to see more from our channel don't forget to click that bell button so you're notified every time I upload something new. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!